In this video I'm gonna show you how to increase or improve your FPS in Apex Legends Season 3 or how to get more FPS in Apex. In this tutorial we're gonna tweak the in-game settings, some origin settings and we're gonna optimize your PC for gaming. So make sure to watch till the end and don't skip any steps. Before we start, click on the link in the description and download the Apex Legends FPS Boost Pack. Once you unzip it on your desktop, we can start. The first step is to tweak the in-game settings and you can do that by opening Apex Legends. Once you open it, click on the settings icon in the bottom right corner. And now click on settings. Click on the video tab. And now what you want to do is set it to windowed or full screen. Set the aspect ratio to native. Set your resolution to native as well, or you can just lower it a little bit down and this will basically just give you more FPS, which you can do. Then set the brightness at around 50%, set the field of view around 110 and set the sprint view shake to minimal. Now scroll down and go to the advanced section. Once you're here, you can turn off VSync, so set it to disabled. Set the adaptive resolution FPS target to 1000. Set the adaptive super sampling to disabled. Texture streaming budget to none. Texture filtering to bilinear and ambient occlusion quality to disabled. Now set the sun shadow coverage to low. Sun shadow detail to low as well. Spot shadow detail to disabled or low. Set the volumetric lightning to disabled. Set the dynamic spot shadows to disabled as well. Modal detail to low, effects detail to low, impact marks to disabled and ragdolls to low as well. Once you're done in here, you can just click on apply, wait for the settings to be applied and you can then turn off Apex Legends and continue with this tutorial. The second step is to open the origin launcher and once you open it what you want to do is click on my game library, right click on Apex Legends and click on game properties. Now make sure that the enable origin in-game for Apex Legends is unchecked. So you want this to be unchecked. And once you uncheck it, click on the advanced launch options tab and open the FPS boost pack. Once you open it, open the launch options notepad file and now copy the command or the first line of the notepad file. Once you copy it, make sure that you replace the refresh rate 240 with the refresh rate of your PC. So I'm going to replace that right now. And basically my computer, my monitor is 120 Hz, so the refresh rate is 120, so I replaced it. Once you replace it with your refresh rate, what you want to do is just copy the line, copy the commands, open the origin launcher and just paste it inside of it, in the command line arguments. Once you're done, click on save and you can now click on origin and click on application settings. Now click on more and click on origin in game. Make sure that the enable origin in game is unchecked so it's disabled. If it's enabled what you want to do is just click on it and disable it. And once you're done you can close the origin launcher. And you can close the notepad file. The next step is to open this PC. Click on the search bar and type this PC and open it. Now open local disk C. Open the users folder. Open your user, which is PC for me. Now open saved games. Open the respawn folder. Open Apex, local. And now once you're in here, what you want to do is open the FPS boost pack again. Go to the configs folder in the FPS boost pack. I would recommend going with the low end settings because this will just give you more FPS. And now copy the video config text document and paste it in the local folder in Apex Legends. Click on replace the file in the destination and now right click on video config, open the properties and make sure that the read only box is checked. If it's not checked what you want to do is just check it, click on apply and click on ok. You can now close the local folder. Now open this PC again, open local disk C or whatever drive Apex Legends is installed on. Open the program files x86 folder. Now open the Apex Legends folder. Open the Apex folder. 
open the CFG folder, now go to the FPS boost pack, copy the other exact CFG file and paste it inside of the CFG folder in Apex. Click on replace the file in the destination if you already have another exec.cfg file. And once you're done you can just close the CFG folder. The next step is to right click on Apex Legends on your desktop. Click on open file location. Now right click on R5 Apex and open the properties. Open the compatibility tab. Check the Disable Full Screen Optimizations box and now click on Change High DPI Settings and check the Override High DPI Scaling Behavior, Scaling Performed by Application. Once you're done, click on OK, click on Apply and click on OK again. You can now close the Apex folder. The next step is to open the FPS Boost Pack. Now open the Ultimate Performance Mode text document and click on the search bar and type CMD. Right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator. Click on yes. Now what you want to do is just copy the command from the notepad file and paste it in CMD and click on enter. And as you can see the ultimate performance mode is enabled. What you want to do now is just close the command prompt, close the notepad file and click on the search bar and type edit power plan and open it. Now click on the power options and check the ultimate performance circle. So make sure that the ultimate performance mode is checked. Once you check it, you can close the power options. The next step is to open the optimizations folder and open the apex priority folder. Now double click on apex high priority, click on yes. It says, are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes again. And the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry. Click on OK. If the game crashes, then what you want to do is just go back to this folder and double click on Apex Normal Priority and do the same thing as we did with the high priority. Once you're done here, we can move on to the next step, which is to go back to the optimizations folder and now double click on the GPU settings folder. Now right click somewhere on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings in the NVIDIA control panel and make sure that the high performance NVIDIA processor is set as your preferred graphics processor. Now go back to the FPS boost pack and open the first image. Now just copy all of the settings into your NVIDIA control panel. And once you're done with the first image, just go ahead and open the second image and copy the rest of the settings. Once you're done, you can close the image and click on apply, which should be somewhere around the bottom in the NVIDIA control panel. And once you apply the settings, you can just close it. Now go back to the optimizations folder and open the ISLC folder, which is the third one. Now double click on intelligence standby list cleaner. Click on yes. And now click on the arrow in the bottom right corner and find the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner logo and once you find it, just double click on it. Now click on Stop if it's already working. Check the Enabled Custom Timer Resolution box and type 0.50 into Wanted Timer Resolution. Now type 1024 megabytes in the List Size is at Least box and type 8196 megabytes in the free memory is lower than box if you have 16GB of RAM or type 4096 if you have 8GB of RAM. Once you're done, just click on Purge Standby List and click on Start. And you can now close the Intelligence Standby List Cleaner. The next step is to go back to the Optimizations folder and double click on Seek Cleaner Setup. Click on Yes. Uncheck the Yes Install CCleaner Browser box and click on Install. Now just wait for it to finish and open it up. Once it's open, what you want to do is click on the Registry tab, click on Scan for Issues, make sure that all of these are checked and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, just click on Fix Selected Issues, 
click on no and now click on fix all selected issues. It should say issue fixed and once it's done just click on close and you can now close the CCleaner application. The next step is to double click on NVIDIA Profile Inspector, click on yes and wait for it to open. Now click on where it says profiles and type Apex and click on Apex Legends from the list. Now make sure that the frame rate limiter mode is set to frame rate limiter control delay flip by flip metering. So just select it from the list and once you're done here what you want to do is click on apply changes and you can now close the NVIDIA profile inspector application. The next step is to double click on power control setup 64, click on yes, click on ok, I agree, next, install. Once it's done installing, it should automatically open up. Now go where it says CPU settings for power profile and choose Bitsum highest performance from the list. And make sure that all of these are set at 100%. Once you're done, just click on apply. It should say new settings have been applied. Click on OK and click on OK again. The next step is to double click on quick CPU setup. Click on next, accept the terms, next, next, install and wait for it to finish. Click on yes and click on finish again, yes again and it should open up. Now go where it says system power plan and choose Bitsum highest performance. Now go where it says core parking index, frequency scaling index and turbo boost index and make sure that they are all set at 100%. Once you're done, what you want to do is just click on apply. It should say changes successfully applied. Click on OK and click on close. The next step is to double click on registry editor tweak. Click on yes. It says, are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes again. And the keys and values have been successfully added to the registry. Click on OK. Now right click on Windows Debloader and click on run with PowerShell. If you don't see this option here, then what you want to do is click on open with and just select PowerShell from the menu. I'm gonna go with run with PowerShell and this should open up. Now what you want to do is click on remove all bloatware under the bloat options. So just click on the button and now just wait for the script to finish. Once it's done, it should say finished all tests and you can then close the Windows PowerShell settings. You can now close the Apex Legends FPS boost pack and the next step is to click on the search bar and type run, open it and now type percent temp percent and click on OK. Click on somewhere in the folder and click on Ctrl plus A to select all of the files and folders. Once you're done just right click on some of them and click on delete. You can just skip the files that won't be deleted. Basically these are all just temporary files that your PC doesn't need anymore. So don't worry you can delete them. And the next step is to click on the search bar again, type run again. And now type prefetch. Click on OK. And do the same thing. So click on Ctrl plus A to select all of the files. Right click, delete. And you can skip the files that won't be deleted. These are all temporary files as well, so don't worry, you can delete them. And once you're done, you can just close the prefetch folder. And the last tip in this video is to update your drivers. You can go ahead to the NVIDIA website and download the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application, which automatically detects and updates your drivers. You can go to the AMD website if you have an AMD graphics card. They also have an application that automatically detects and updates your drivers. And if you have an Intel graphics card, then just go to the Intel website and they also have an application that will automatically update your drivers. So after you've done that, you should get more FPS. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.